no. If somebody asked me, can, can zero sleep cause brain damage? I would be no. I would be like, no, zero sleep cannot damage your brain. However, that sounds just like an opinion, right? So if somebody then said, okay, Diane, like, how do you back that up? Well, then I'll first say, okay, yes, that sounded like an opinion. So a more true statement from me would be something like this. There is no evidence that zero sleep causes any brain damage. There's just no evidence supporting this claim. And if then, if somebody said, oh, can you, can you ex expand on this? Can you, can you share why, you know, why you say this? Then I would, then I would say the following. I, I picked up four, four things, like four points to back up the statement with. And number one, of course, at this stage of like technology, technological development and whatnot is to go to ChatGPT or maybe another uh, LLM or maybe another, you know, uh, of these type of resources. But I went to ChatGPT and I asked, uh, is there evidence? I asked, I said, I said I asked, is there proof or is there evidence that uh, is little sleep or what is that? Let me just tell you exactly what I wrote. I have it right here. I, my question was, is there any evidence proving that not sleeping causes brain damage? That's exactly what I wrote. And then ChatGPT said, well, ChatGPT gave me kind of a longer answer, but the first sentence was, no, there's no strong direct evidence in humans that typical sleep loss causes permanent brain damage. Now, this statement doesn't sound super strong from ChatGPT, and uh, ChatGPT is kind of like, you know, it airs on the sign of caution, right? But it still said no, like the answer here is no. And so it says there's no strong, okay, strong is kind of subjective, what is strong anyway, but direct, when it said direct here, if you look at the complete answer from ChatGPT, what it means is that there's no direct evidence, uh, as in there's no evidence in humans. He said, it says, however, in some models of mice or rodents or things of that nature, there there's evidence that suggests that sleep deprivation may cause brain, brain damage in them, right? But again, these are small mice models, right? So again, there's no evidence that in humans, or personally, I'm, I'm not sh sure this is true for the mice either. These are like old, small experiments. But anyway, there's no evidence that little sleep in humans uh, causes any brain damage. So we have it from ChatGPT, and I think that is really, really strongly supporting my uh, uh, my um, statement here that there is no evidence that there's sleep causes brain damage. 